Hi everybody, welcome, welcome to 7 by 7 Hayley, over to you. I'm just trying to share my screen. Okay. But I think you're a host. There you go, you're host now too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can everybody see my screen okay? Yes. Fabulous. Hi, everyone. I'm Hayley Bailey, and I'm going to be your host for today. I'm the community and engagement leader Upfront. Upfront is an organization, for those of you who don't know, who are on a mission to change confidence for a million women by 2023. And we do this through our six week course, which we call a bond. And the launch of our sick bond. On six is coming up soon. But anyway, in the meantime, my job is to build community and to share our ideas and our stories with you. So this is really exciting for me because we have an amazing lineup coming up. Um, so my official welcome to you. Welcome to the seven by seven event. It's all come about because two years ago this month, Lauren started her weekly newsletter to which she shares 10, week, 10 links, really insightful information. And with these 10 links, she's also given the opportunity for many black and brown women to take over the newsletter. And we've come to invite seven of them to talk about seven different topics that are really close to their hearts today. So that's why I'm really excited and I hope you are too. Um, a little thing that we like to do up front is to share a plus one when something that someone says really resonates with us. So I want you all to practice sharing a plus one in the chat now. So I know you're all engaged. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, awesome. Before we kick off, I'm going to hand over to Lauren to say hi, who is our founder. And this event is a Lauren Curry event. So go ahead, Lauren. Ah, uh, thank you, Hayley. Uh, yeah, just to echo Haley's sentiment, we are so excited to have 96 of you here. Over 250 people have signed up, which has just blown me away. It came up, it popped up in my calendar. So two years ago this week, you launched your newsletter. And when I sat down to think about what can we do to mark that and to celebrate it, I thought, what a better way than to invite some of the amazing women who took over my newsletter to come and talk to you directly. So I have learned so much from meeting these women, reading their links, learning more about them, their, their worldview, their work, their stories, their identities. So yeah, I'm just really jazzed to introduce you to them all. And yeah, thank you so much for being here. Over back to you, Hayley. Awesome. So to kick off the event and the first of our seven speakers, I'm going to hand over to Liana, who is an entrepreneur, marketing expert and the founder of the Inspiration Space. Her creative entrepreneurship has led her to be an advocate for startup founders, and she'll be filling us in on how you can become the inspirer in chief in your own life. So take it away. Hi, everyone. Thanks for having me. So. I am Liana and I'm the founder of Inspiration Space and we help people turn ideas into reality. And today I'm gonna to teach you how to harness inspiration so that you can be the inspiring chief of your own life. So first things first, what's an inspiring chief? I actually made it up. And that's the first lesson, which is choice. Now, inspiring chief is a great job title for me because what I do is I breathe belief into others and that's the second role of an inspire in chief is to do that for the people around you and yourself so the first lesson of being inspired in chief is choice and the second is about sharing once you've done that it's about commitment you have to commit to choice and to activating your passion. This is absolutely key because we live in a world where people will try and keep you small, where arbitrary rules decide what is and is not acceptable. And if we are exercising choice, we can choose what we believe. So the next lesson in being an inspiring chief 
is to choose yes and, not yes but. It's a technique used in improv. And the idea behind yes and is to build on your partner's story. It allows you to explore territories and concepts and ideas that you know, you can't necessarily even see. Yes, but keeps you where you are. That's how you stay in one place. It's the difference between I'm only one person, but what can I do? And I'm only one person and what can I do? And then all of a sudden you're traveling on a completely different road. It's a way of creating your own sliding doors moment. And this is really key because the next part of being an inspirer in chief is this choice to spread inspiration. When you travel the road of yes and, who knows who you're going to meet? But when you travel the road of yes but, you will literally just be staring yourself in the face. And at the moment, I'm not going to lie, the uncertainty is rife and apathy is endemic. And what I know about inspiration is it is the perfect remedy. Because when you're sick and tired of feeling sick and tired, there is nothing like that activation that you get from possibility. What I want you to take away from this more than anything is that you have a duty to yourself and to others to show up in this way. You have to choose because there is no way we are going to move forward and do what we need to do to keep climate change in check if we don't start to do things an entirely different way. Life and business as usual is dead. And so instead of saying yes, but, we can only think yes, and. So I'm gonna hand over to our next uh, speaker today because that's really all I wanted to share. I think inspiration is short, sharp, and sweet. Um, So someone else can take it from there. Yeah, awesome. Thank you so much. (laughs) um that was amazing I am gonna sit with thinking about inspiration and how I can apply that and say yes and more 